What's up guys? Day two, part two of uh, Steam's uh, API uh, announcements after their uh, Developers Days uh, conference. Um, developer uh, and uh, studio co-founder from Level Up Labs, Lars Docket, uh, apparently got a confirmation directly from Valve that the API is going to extend its legacy and fallback features to all the devices it supports. Um, he must have picked up the red telephone or something. I don't know how he gets a two-hour response from Valve, and it, I can't get something from them in two weeks. But uh, if this is true, Valve is taking away the stick and hoping the carrot is enough for developers. And I don't know if it is. I, I you know, it's good from, a, I guess, a player standpoint, you know, you're going to get your all, you're going to get a, a lot more compatibility with games um, as far as different controllers go, but it doesn't really do anything to help, uh, you know, try to push this API onto developers to, uh, you know, kind of give things an update or a refresh or, you know, force them to actually rethink about, you know, how they do uh, handle controllers currently and, you know, how archaic it is in a lot of senses. Um, you know, without the, the stick or, you know, this trying to tell them, you know, if you want to, if you want these other controllers, you got to start looking at our API and using it. Without that, I don't know if the carrot enticing them over is enough because uh, even, you know, you're not, you're hoping that they see the appeal in this. And a lot of developers, <laughs> a lot of developers just really don't give a damn. As long as you can play their game and they can, you know, take money from you, that's that's all they care, that's all they care about. Um, you know, some of the smaller studios, the, you know, the three or four guy studios, uh, that develop indie games that actually have a passion for it, you know, maybe you'll get them on board. Um, and obviously, you know, Valve is going to be on board. Their, uh, their ID Tech 6 engine um, is probably, uh, probably has legacy support in it, but I'm sure their ID Tech 7 engine is going to completely get rid of the, uh, the controller class APIs that they use now and, you know, just force the Steam API. But uh, other engines, you know, the more widely used, uh, your Crytex, your Unity, your... Uh, um, I'm drawing a blank. I, I know I'm missing a big one there. Uh, shit, I don't know. It's escaping me. But yeah, they all have, you know, these engines come with built-in controller support. Um, and, you know, every, you know, all these, you know, packages, these pre-built modules that, you know, game studios have, um, you know, usually they code, uh, like, wrappers and uh, their own classes how they want to interface with these engines, uh, controller classes. And, you know, they, they reuse those, they copy and paste them, you know, over their development span um, until an engine uh, forces them to rethink things or an engine, um, you know, depreciates something that they were using then they go back and change it. But, uh, you know, these, these engines are already have their own X input controller APIs built into them. So where's the draw for uh, these developers to start using Steam APIs uh, if you're telling them that they can continue using X input and they'll get the benefit of being able to use all these controllers? Um, not only are, you know, you know, not only are players losing, you know, all the customization options that come with the Steam API, uh, we're also u losing the, uh, the the glyphs that would have come with it where, uh, you know, we would have gotten button prompts and quick time events that are actually keyed for the device we use. Um, now with this emulation technology, the game is uh, just going to show Xbox 360 uh, button prompts and, uh, I mean, I guess that's not a huge deal. Uh, people like me that play with DualShock 4, we're used to seeing the 360 prompts, and, you know, we've gotten used to that. But still, uh, as far as, you know, 
making a game polished. Um, it kind of doesn't do too much to help in that sense. Um, I don't know, it's, it's a mixed bag, it's got its goods. Uh, like I said, obviously that means that, you know, controller compatibility uh, in Steam is about to see a huge jump up. Um, but it's also got its bad. It's, it's not really helping the industry. It's not, you know, it's not pushing a new API, a new way of thinking, uh, which... Uh, you know, I was excited about yesterday, and now not so much because uh, without without that uh, stick to force you know these big AAA titles into modifying their existing code and to rethink the way they're programming future things, um, I think a lot of them are going to pass up on it. And if a lot of them are passing up on it, how long is this API going to be supported by Steam? How long is it going to live and continue to grow? Um, are they going to, you know, give up on it in five years if they don't get enough, uh, you know, AAA games backing it? And are other AAA games thinking the same thing, saying, well, we're not going to jump into this thing uh, until it has a five-year track record and other games adopt it, so we're going to hold out. And then you get that whole perpetual motion thing going where, you know, studios are holding off for fear of other studios holding off. Um which causes the whole thing to collapse in on itself. I mean, they they really needed the stick. I don't know. Um, hopefully it still works out, though. Uh, I think it's... They're really going to have to angle it more at your smaller studios now to try to... Uh, to try to get this thing going. Um, your, your indie studio... You, you guys, like, you know, uh, Lars Dockett over here at Level Up Labs... Um, it's really going to be on their shoulders to try to push this thing as much as possible for it to have a future, I think. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if I have any more to say about that. Um, I still intend to, you know, play around with it. Um, see if there's anything that I can incorporate into my stuff with it. But uh, otherwise, yeah, it is what it is. Alright guys, have a good one.